Okay, this is an experiment. Whoops, let me flip this around. Oh wait, is it even gonna let me? Here we go. I have no idea what this is gonna be shooting. challenges lately and um, I started to do something that I'd done before very sporadically which is record myself talking and um, not for the sake of the recording which I rarely if ever revisit but um, for the sake of and it became clear as I did it but I, I felt like stuff was bubbling up and I needed an outlet. I didn't feel like I needed a therapist. Somehow I just felt like um, this has kind of served me before. I've done it a handful of times in the past. And as I did it, I started to notice the benefit. Maybe it was because there was kind of an upheaval inside me that I started to notice the difference. And I started to understand the principle is at, at work, which is really simple. In the past, when I was more religious, I did it as a, almost a kind of pray, prayer and addressed my comments to God. And um, that's all well and good, but I, what I started to realize, and as, as I've sort of come along further in my journey, that um, you know, I really I believe now we're what we're all that we need. But I think we need clear communications or, or some kind of communication. And the what really the big epiphany for me was is in trying to put words to the, the feelings and then hearing how they sound and um, was, there was a process of clarification and um, prioritization that had just happened by itself basically. Also, I've had the desire to just kind of share somehow, and to share really openly. I mean, if I'm not even listening to my own recordings, that doesn't really happen. I don't, I'm not trying to uh, become known or anything like that, but I, I desire to connect widely with people, and that's, that's an essential part of who I am. And um, so maybe this will achieve that, but honestly, what, what, what appeals to me about it is very simple, which is to kind of have a potential audience, not so much a, an interacting, an interactive audience, but just kind of to know that it's 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 going somewhere. And certainly, I think probably on the subtle, more subtle levels, just speech and thought and intention, all all really get broadcast, but just in a different way, different dimension or something. And they do things out there. Um, but something about having it sort of sitting there where it could be discovered, um, I kind of like that by, by a person through their regular, regular hearing, whatever. So I wanted to make slideshows initially, but my, my, the app on my phone doesn't, it's very, um, cumbersome to create a, a sound video with primarily just audio and maybe one one picture because it keeps wanting you to drop multiple pictures in to fill up the space of the audio that you have so I'm using video for no other reason than it just eliminates that whole process and I can shoot it and I can send it up to YouTube right away without um, without doing anything basically and that's the goal is to put raw raw stuff up there and um, so I get the therapeutic benefit. Maybe others would get a therapeutic benefit. If I have anything to share re relative to this, it's that um, we can do it. You know, there are people out there with serious, serious problems um, that need various kinds of help. But I think if we just listen to ourselves and 
make an effort to express um, on a regular basis, especially if there's a difficulty happening, that can be great. One of the things that the beat writers would do, Ginsburg, Cassidy in particular, Kerouac, I think, did it. Um, they would sit knee to knee sometimes in all night sessions and they would express everything without a filter to one another. And what a beautiful, what a beautiful exercise that is. And if you have that kind of friend, um, what a what a great thing to do. But the best audience, I think, is always the self. And um, the most direct, in, e in any case, and the least prone to to misunderstanding and the urge to correct. Um, but a, a, the right kind of friend who can listen the right kind of friend who can ask for clarification in the right way, um, that can be great. And I hope to have a friend like that someday. Um, I made a friend, sort of. I, I met someone recently. Sadly, we're not in contact this time. Um, who looked at me and said, do you have a friend that you can talk to? You can tell anything talk to about anything and it was quite a penetrating question she didn't give me a chance to answer but that's not the point the point is that um, um, that it's a beautiful question <laughs> and you know that's a big part of this process for me or at least it has been to um, put the questions out there that's a big part of what I try to do when I'm talking I put questions out, and I, um, um, not for the sake of the answer, but for the sake of, I really feel like there's something that happens when the question is formulated and expressed. I, I, part of my belief is that we are a facet of God. We are each God. And, um, and, um, somehow by clarifying that, by crystallizing a question in the mind that the, that through that awareness that comes about, things shift and they change. And I've, I've questioned myself without any answers necessarily coming, but a lot of times the, the concern in the question is addressed and certain behaviors be, become hard to do again after, you know, when there's that clarification, when something becomes conscious and that God light gets shined on onto the subject um, so I thought of, of um, presenting this in various ways but I love the idea of creating on the fly I love the idea of seeing what pops up at any given time without any preparation and that's what this has been except the only preparation has sort of been my own natural process and my own experience and um, if you're listening, thanks for listening. And um, uh, but I know I'm listening, and I guess that's that's what's most important. Um, I'm off my lunch hour now, and I'm, I'm going to attempt to post this video on YouTube, and I will see what happens. But I intend to do this regularly, and um, it's been so good for me during this, these last few weeks of personal emotional struggle, which I may go into later. Um, but, um, just, just sending my love and to everyone and no one and me <laughs> and trying to, trying to keep it out there, trying to keep the ball bouncing. And, uh, I will now, uh, sloppily take the camera, take my phone and stop this and you're going to get to see the whole thing and I'm not going to cut it and God bless. Thanks.